Well, tonight in New Orleans, two days we think now before potential landfall, even famous places on Bourbon Street like Arnold's famous restaurant here, it's all boarded up. Closed for business tonight in Bourbon Street. Hardly a person down here. You could hear a pin drop. Let's go see if we can find any place that's open. So you really got to scour the area around Bourbon Street and the French Quarter to find any place that's open. We found one, the Oceana. Let's go inside and have some grub maybe. Come on. So we're inside the Oceana right now. Mo, the manager, is here with us. Mo, why did you decide to stay open tonight? We are the only restaurant open in the French Quarter. Katrina hit August 29, 2005. We never left. I've been in New Orleans for 15 years. This is my home. I'm not going to leave. I'm not, I'm not going to leave the city. I don't care if it's like Katrina, worse than Katrina, or not worse than Katrina. We're going to be here. We're going to open. We're going to serve everybody. We're going to serve you guys. We're going to serve the, serve the media. We're serving the police officers. We're serving the firefighters. We're serving everybody who's here to protect us. We're serving the National Guards. And we're the only restaurant open in the French Quarter, and we're serving the whole menu. We have three ice machines filled up with ice. We have generators upstairs. We have enough, enough gas to put us for another good two weeks. How bad did it get right here during Katrina? We had wind damage only uh, after Katrina. Uh, we had no flood, and we stayed here. Katrina hit August uh, 29. It was that Monday. I didn't leave until the following Monday. I was driving out of here with a full beard, cloth I, I hadn't changed in, in a week. So I've seen the worst when Katrina hit. I don't think anything going to be any worse than Katrina. So we are prepared full speed. All right, Mo, we appreciate it. Good luck to you, man. Best oh, man, of luck. You make sure to come back and see me. We will be back for dinner, that's for sure. But that is the spirit of Louisianans, and that guy, Mo, is going to be a savior to so many people when this hurricane comes calling.